Welcome back to my channel you guys. How is everyone doing? New year is in 10 days, actually 9 days, but 8 days when you're watching this. So what are we doing for the new year? Every year I come up with a few goals, upgraded goals and stuff like that you're supposed to do before the new year. Things that you could do to change your life for the new year. Now that 2023 is around the corner, we're back at it again. In this video, I am going to share with you guys five things, five ways you can change your life or five things you must do before you enter 2023 to change your life. Now these are some things that really helps me and these are things that help me and still does. These five ways are things that I'm going to be applying into my own life. So I'm just going to share with you guys what is on my head and these five things y'all should also use. I really believe that these five things y'all should also start using because it's going to be really helpful. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so number one is being wise with your money. Now, I don't care if you're 14 year old, if you're 20, if you're 50, I don't care how old you are. Money is a very important aspect in our lives. And I know that if you're a teenager, you're probably not thinking about money. But let me tell you, let me tell you, it is important to have money at a young age. Even if it's $100, even if it's $50, even if it's just $20, does not matter. Start being wise with your money. Stop spending your money wherever you want, whenever you want, on just anything. Be wise with your money, especially if you don't have savings, especially if you are not financially stable, especially if you are trying to change your life. I would definitely recommend cut down on the spendings and start saving. Honestly, if you're not financially stable yet, you should probably start with saving. That means for the first six months of the new year, you are only going to save and you will spend minimum amount of money. That means you will try your best not to spend money on new clothes, new shoes, whatever you want. Going out with your friends, try to reduce it and save more. And once you hit that goal for the year, go ahead and do whatever you want, but do not touch your savings. Always have savings. Honestly, this is such a great life lesson. You should always have savings. It could be a life and death moment. It could be an emergency. It's always good to have savings, security. So yeah. Number two is prioritize yourself. Now we say this every single year, but most of us don't do this. There are some times or in some situations we do not prioritize ourselves. So for 2023, my goal is to prioritize myself, put myself first, always think about myself. And I don't care if people call it selfish. Yes, I'm gonna be selfish because you know what? People have been walking all over me left and right because I cared. So don't do the same mistake as I did. And I know a lot of you guys went through that as well. So always prioritize yourself. It does not matter if it's family, the love of your life, your best friend, always put yourself first, prioritize yourself. You are the only one who's gonna be there for you at the end of the day, nobody else. I learned that the hard way. Number three is heal. Heal before you move into the new year. Now, when I say heal, I mean really heal yourself. Face your fears, face your traumas, whatever issues you have, fix it before you move in to the new year. It could be attachment issues, it could be toxicity. Whatever issues you've got going on, fix it before 2023. We all have our issues, but the most important thing is understanding that you have an issue. Because a lot of people do not see what issues they have and they think that they're perfect, you're not. No one's perfect. So we all have our own issues, abandonment issues, attachment issues, toxicity, all of those things come under issues. Even if you're, pro even if you're overly procrastinating, you're often procrastinating over things, that is also an issue. So figure out why you're feeling this way and fix it before the new year. Number four is know your goals before the new year. It's always good to have your goals organized, just know what your goals are going to be. Now your goals could be, that could mean reading books or reading 50 books next year or going to the gym and being consistent. It could be actually attending lectures and getting good grades instead of not attending lectures and cheating on exams because that's bad. It could be working consistently. It could be spending more time with your family or it could be managing your anger issues anything could be a goal if it is going to change your life always when i say goals i mean particularly like habits get new habits if you don't have a hobby right now get one make one for example i really want to learn ice skating because i love figure skating i love watching figure skating so i would really love to learn how to ice skate by the end of next year now i wanted to do that this year but did i do it no i went ice skating like five times no 
four times this year and that is it so I am going to go ice skating next year and improve maybe go to lessons and learn how to ice skate so it's really important to have your goals aligned know what you want for the new year just know what you want to do because every single time we say we want to change ourselves we have no idea what we're doing we think to ourselves you know what next year i'm going to work on my body and that's it but you don't think about how you're going to work on that body what does that mean for you for example the goal for next year is to get an hourglass figure or you want to lose weight how are you going to do it and the answer is eating clean now what does that mean eating vegetables not eating outside not spending a lot of time cooking fried foods or bad food for your body and it also means going to the gym consistently now what does that mean that means going to the gym three to four times a day I meant week going to the gym three to four times a week getting a personal trainer following a resume following a schedule training and being consistent being honest to yourself and not cheating so that is what I mean like know what the hell you want for the new year know what exactly you want and how you're going to get it because knowing what you want is not enough you also need to know how you're going to get it so think about it and the last one is leave anything that does not serve you in 2022 now when i say that i mean friendships that does not serve you relationships that are bad for you family members that are not making you happy anything that does not make you happy even if it's a subject at university that you can drop drop it if if that subject stresses you out drop it anything that does not make you happy anything that will not make your life better anything any single thing that is not good for you and you know that is not good for you drop it leave it in 2022 and that'll be the last time you see it now i'm going to be dropping a lot of friends i'm going to be dropping a lot of bad habits and you could do the same you could drop bad habits like binge eating at night or smoking or drinking a lot or inconsistency or not going to church things like that so drop any bad habits or people humans or any bad memories in 2022 and that's that so those are five things that i'm going to be doing as soon as i enter 2023 before i enter 2023 actually because i want to change my life i want to start fresh it's a new year i want to change my life and you know what 2023 is going to be my year and you gotta think the same thing as well 2023 is going to be your year as well by the way you guys there's no such thing as luck i don't believe in that i mean yes luck does work but you design your own life whatever situation you're in if you're in a bad situation it's only because you created that situation now in some cases like you know extreme cases i don't mean that that does not apply to that but if you're failing a class if you're crying over a toxic guy that is your own problem because you chose that you could easily leave that guy you could easily study you could do your homework you could spend more time focusing on your education and then you wouldn't fail that was just an example so that's that my mind is just all over the place right now but i'm trying to make this video as quick as possible because i want to post this video before the end of 2022 so that you guys could change your life so yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give this video a thumbs up let me know in the comment section down below what other videos you guys would love to see before ending before the end of 2022 we only have a few days left so drop your ideas quick so i could film it and post it so y'all could watch it and yeah that is it for this video and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye